How's it going? So today's video is going to be on the kawa kawa plant which is this plant here. So yeah it's pretty easy to identify it. Um, it grows up to around about four or five meters maximum um, but usually it's around two meters tall. The easiest way to identify it is it has roundish leaves and those leaves have lots of holes in them and those holes are made by a caterpillar and yeah that caterpillar is the caterpillar of the kawakawa looper moth and um, yeah it's kind of got a relationship with the kawakawa plant yeah pretty much every kawakawa plant you see will have all of these little holes in it that these, um, these little green caterpillars make but it doesn't seem to affect the kawakawa plant too much. It still seems to manage to grow just fine with all these caterpillars eating it. Um, and yeah, another little distinguishing feature is that the branches have sections to them, um, which is sort of unusual. So yeah, the kawakawa plant likes a warm climate, so it's mainly found in the warmer parts of New Zealand and uh, mainly found in coastal areas as well so you'll see it a lot growing along the sides of the roads um, if you're traveling around the coast so as far as the uses for humans go this plant is pretty valuable um, it's got a lot of medicinal properties to it and it's sort of got a bit more popular in recent years um, for use in cooking so it's sort of like a herb um, you can eat the leaves I'll just pick one off here just to prove to you that they are edible um, it's quite a peppery taste quite a hot strong taste to them and you can you can chop them up a lot of people chop them up and um, use them in like a chutney or you can use them to season meat um, you know, if you, if you use salt and kawakawa, it's kind of like salt and pepper, but it's just got a bit more flavour than your normal pepper. It's also really good to make tea with, so you can either just crush up the leaves fresh and put them in a pot of boiling water, or you can dry them out and then you can store them and have, have kawakawa leaf tea whenever you want. And yeah, there's a few medicinal benefits to that. Um, kawakawa tea is, is said to be good for your liver and your kidneys and also good if you have like a, a bladder infection or something like that so yeah those are the most common uses for it and there's also the berries on the female plants that you can eat um, if you if you find them in summertime that's usually when they're ripe so you can see on this tree here there's an absolute heap of berries this is a female tree and there's just the odd one that's starting to get nice and orange so you want to pick the ones that are really really orange and they get sort of better with flavor the more they ripen so if you eat one that's slightly green it'll just sort of have that same peppery taste that the leaf does so yeah I'll pick one off and um, we'll have a try so this one here's already been eaten by something probably a little bird but yeah so yeah we'll pick this one it's already had something eating it but that probably means it's just right so yeah the key to eating these things is they've got all these little black seeds inside them and they taste the same as what the leaves taste like so they've got like a peppery flavor to them so you don't really want to be chewing on them so you can either sort of suck the pulp out, which is all that orange stuff. You can just sort of suck that off and then swallow all the seeds, or you can spit the seeds out. I usually just spit the seeds out. Yeah. It's got a really nice flavour to it when you get those super ripe ones. It's sort of like... Um, 
a super ripe rock melon or something um, or a mango yeah actually a really nice flavor one of the one of the nicer native berries so yeah that's the kawakawa plant hope you enjoyed the video thanks heaps for watching we'll see you next time cheers